Government Outreach and this is uh, the second lesson today. Uh, in the previous lesson, in the first lesson, I solved questions uh, using substitution method. Today's topic is about elimination and I'll be using elimination method to solve these three questions. Okay, So, uh, let's start with question number 7. Question number 7, we have 2x plus y equals to 7 and x y equals to 6. Now we have to eliminate either x or y. We do it in the very first step. Let's consider this to be equation 1 and this to be equation 2. So I can eliminate uh, x over here by uh, multiplying this with the coefficients that is uh, 1, y. And here I can eliminate uh, this whole portion by multiplying this equation by 2. Okay? So you see you get 2xy and 2xy when I multiply this one. Make sure that uh, the x is eliminated completely. Not that it uh, is over here and this x is uh, in the next term or the third term as well. So now let's solve this. 2xy plus y to y y squared equals to 7y. You are multiplying the whole equation with y. Okay. Second equation. We are multiplying with 2, 2 into xy will give you 2xy equals to 2, 6 and 12. There you go. Now, we add to subtract to eliminate sign changes, it will be minus, it will be minus, so cancel. So here left with y squared is equals to 7y minus 12. Now let's bring the 7y into quadratic form y squared minus 7y plus 12 equals to 0. Factors of 12 when adding or subtracting giving, it gives you 7 is 4 and 3. So 4y minus 3y plus 12 equals to 0. Now we take common between these two and these two terms. We are factorizing it using factorization method. We are solving this. y minus 4 minus 3. y minus and plus and minus 4. As I said, these two brackets should be the same. So we have one factor y minus 4 and the other is y minus 3 equals to 0. Now let's solve this. y minus 4 equals to 0. So we will get y is equal to 4. And if we take y minus 3 equals to 0, we get y is equal to 3. So these are the two cases. Either y minus 4 equals 0 or y minus 3 equals 0. Now let's substitute the value of y equals to 4 in any one of these equations. It's easier to take the second equation. As you know, the second equation is x, y is equals to 6. It's in a simplified form. So taking y equals to 4, you'll get the value of x. So if you take 4, this will become 4x is equals to 6. Or in other words, x is equals to 6 upon 4. Cancel out 3. 2, 3 is 6 and 2, 2 is 4. So we have x equals to 3 upon 2 and y is equals to 4. In the same way, when we take uh, y equals to 3 in the second equation, y equals to 3. So our equation will be x, y is equals to 6. y is 3, so this will give you 3x is equals to 6. x is equals to 6 upon 3 or x is equals to so our answer will be when x was 3 upon 2, x is equal to 3 upon 2, y is equal to uh, 4. Okay, the 3 upon 2 can also be written down in uh, decimals if you want, like for example uh, in common fraction 2, 1, 2 and 1, 3, so 1.5, they all accepted and y equals to 4, y equals to 4. So, this is 1 and the other would be when x is equal to 2, we got y equals to, uh, what did we get, y, x is 2, y is equal to 3, so y is equal to 3, so there you go. I will continue the next two questions in my uh, second part, till then take care.